So back again with the refurbished disc system. Uh, same one, haven't tested it yet. I have a Famicom Twin that's being uh, RGB modified, which is currently playing Xevious uh, on cartridge. So everything's working as it should be uh, in that regard. Uh, I just need to finally confirm the uh, the operation of this so I'm going to turn this off take up the cartridge now this switch changes from cassette to uh, cartridge to disc so I just doesn't really make a good clicking sound yeah. that's right plug this in make sure it goes into all of the pins equally Right. Now lay it down flat. Not going to screw it in. Left the front off uh, for good reason. Most of the time they don't work. Sometimes they work like straight off the bat, which is nice. Uh, but 90, 80% uh, of the time they don't work. But yeah, it's nice when they do. So I'll turn it on. I've got the Famicom disc set screen, bio screen, and uh, I'm going to cut the disc in. I don't know if I can catch both things at the same time, just about. So this is my trusty uh, Mahjong disc, I'll put it in, it's reading. Disc error 22, it says. Uh, it can come up with a few different disc errors, but basically if the, if the drive isn't aligned, you're going to throw up errors of all different types. So uh, best thing you can do in this situation, instead of looking up the code for what the problem is, unless you have a, a very specific problem uh, generally they're all the same unless they, like I said you've messed up something along the way something's been messed up in a different way like an electronics problem uh, unforeseen that happened uh, but I generally if you've recapped it and done the maintenance all it needs is slight adjustment and that's about it so how do we adjust this it's, it's not complex but it is a, a fine fine skill you could say in some some respect uh, here's the little allen key so there's a hexagon oh sorry trying to sneeze so i've left the screws out and uh, i'll turn it off but if you look inside this is quite easy to see there's a, a a spinning head that locks into the bottom of the disc and spins it round. Uh, you can see the center hole there with a little mini hole on the side. Uh, now, it doesn't align perfectly, and if it doesn't align perfectly, the magnetic head behind it, which you can't see, doesn't read it. So what you need to do is just get the Allen key, put it into the hole, just and very gently usually they're quite loose this was very loose actually just loosen it slightly then move it like I don't know 10 degrees maybe less tighten it up again slightly and then stick the disc back in and turn it on now without the front they kind of sit at an angle so you can just gently push it to the right hand side to ensure that it's uh, straight. But getting the same error, no surprise. Turn that down a bit. Let's keep going with this. So I'll turn it off first. 
Uh, I use my pinky finger and I, I just kind of rotate it manually uh, until I get the front. Then I can see, I put it slightly so it's not facing me. So I know that when I loosen it and tighten it and it is facing me, I know that I've moved it that, that, that 10 degrees that's uh, kind of needed. You can move it bigger increments. Uh, it kind of speeds things up in a way, but for this video, I'm gonna do it in smaller increments uh, because it's more a more careful approach if someone's watching this for the first time. Uh, generally, as a rule, I like to have the discs reading with the Nintendo message uh, after s about seven or eight seconds. So I don't really wait for the error 22 to show up. I just count to like eight. And if it's not even loaded into the black screen yet, I just switch it off and adjust it again. Okay, I'm gonna adjust it again. Try to keep it low down. When you adjust it, don't let the the little thing rise up because it pushed the disc up higher as well, uh, causing problems. Back in it goes. There we go. Yeah, it's just not going to the black screen, so that is unlikely to load again. Uh, so. It is slightly uh, worrying when you're doing this for like 10 minutes and you're, you're make, seemingly making no progress, but you just need to kind of stick with it, stay patient, stay, uh, yeah, just keep with it and it'll end up working and then you just get that wave of satisfaction, job done. have to be careful really sometimes the, if you don't put the black front on some of these are really sensitive so it might be like really good practice I don't have the black front to hand would be to put the black front on loose to hold the disc straight and securely now oh, there it is uh, and that would ensure like you know that the disc is uh, in the proper position to be read. But yeah, not really getting much here. So anyway, next adjustment. Yeah, try not to over tighten that little mini screw because you can uh, damage the, wet, the, the hole that the uh, Allen key sits in and that will render it un, uh, unadjustable, which will cause you <laughs> deep emotional pain. Yeah, 
So this is obviously going very slowly because I'm adjusting it very little uh, at a time. So I might to speed things up just slightly. I mean, really what you want to do is get it adjusted so it gets to the black screen. And then once you get to the black screen, you can start adjusting it. Uh, you can start adjusting it accordingly from there to get it as, get the loading time as low down as possible, you know, from when you insert the disc to when it loads and plays. So I shouldn't be far off because I've probably turned it over halfway now, I imagine. So they're, uh, yeah, they're a bit tricky. But the, the key is patience, that, that's what it is. Keys, patience. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is good news. Finally, got to the black screen. Uh, I can get that. But that means I'm close. You know, once it gets to this point, I'll show you. That point. That's that means it's reading the disc. It's loading the information, but it's not reading it well enough. So. Still got the error. Need slight adjustment in the continue in the same direction. I know that I'm going in the right direction, so keep going. Uh, I think I'm going clockwise here. So I'm moving it slightly left. So this time I'm going to adjust it another five, ten degrees. Tighten it up. Back in. Yeah, it's still not there yet, but very warm. Yeah. Okay, there we go, Nintendo writing has come up. So I'm basically there. So what I wanna do now is count to seven or eight. So from the power on, seven or eight seconds to that white writing comes down. And now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that's eight seconds. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, yeah, about eight and a half seconds. So can I improve that? Probably can. So I'm just gonna adjust it slightly. Uh, some people would leave it there, but I think that it's, uh, some discs, uh, while it reads that disc, it might not read another disc, because they can do that. Uh, so to get it reading as quickly as possible means that it's as finely tuned as it can be. So another slight adjustment. 
to the left. If I can get it down to nice seven clean seconds, I'll, I'll, I'll feel good about it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's it. Let's try again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, at least it's clean on, cleaner on eight seconds this time. Let's just adjust it a tiny bit more. If it starts increasing the time, then you're kind of just gonna have to go back a step and just be content with that eight seconds instead of trying to make it, get it down to seven or six, because sometimes it's just the condition of the the magnet or the condition of the system overall that's just causing a tiny delay. I mean, it's not a massive issue as long as they're reading discs. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven seconds. All right, that's cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Let me reseat the disc there. Something's gone wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, like I said, maybe I've gone too far. I'm just gonna have to be content with eight seconds. So I'll go back a little bit slightly. really fine the margins are, are fine one that should be okay one two three four five six seven Let's do it again one two three four five six seven Okay, do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's good. That is good. That is fine. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, that's a finely tuned disc system. Uh, and that's basic the basic process. And then once it's gone through that process of being recapped, being cleaned, being tuned uh, to as best as you can tune it like that then uh, you should feel fairly confident that it's going to have no issues and uh, last for a decent amount of time so yeah uh, that's a long video because uh, it's not such a it's not such a fast process but uh, I hope it was informative and uh, thanks for watching